So if you want to get um, Workbench on your Amiga Mini, all you really need is this, which is an Amiga, which basically you just download this, put it on a USB, and you're away. And it's, to be honest, it's fantastic. But if you're like me, I just wanted my own setup and not this setup even though it's fantastic I just wanted to replicate my setup I've got at home on my 1200 Um I want to be able to when I go away pl play on my Amiga um, on holiday or whatever and uh, the Amiga Mini is perfect for that really um, but I wanted my setup um, so there's a way you can use this software and adapt it um, so that you can get your own setup um, and I'll show you how to do that so what you need to do is basically download Animiga from here uh, you just click downloads and you just download um, the tor I use the torrent here download that and extract the archive and basically you get all these files now all you really need is um, this this and this those three files um, all the rest uh, yeah just just to do with the setup of an Amiga so once you've got those three drag them on to a USB FAT32 formatted uh, so th those are the, those three files and then in this one I've just put my a hard file basically which is my Amiga setup and then in this hard folders I've just got the um, like all my all the WHD load games in here like that and then I've got in scene I've just got like game demos mods images I've PD games that kind of thing um, and basically you just tell the config file where these are saved on your USB and to do that all you do is edit this you got to keep it the same file naming convention as as uh, over in the An Animiga uh, but all you need to change is basically this bit the hard drive section um so just show you how it used to look uh just drag it into a separate screen right so that's the hard files that you get from the original setup and all you have to do i've just basically got three hard drive setups which is here and just di directed them to where they are saved on the usb and um, once you've done that um the setup works um, the only thing you need to probably be aware of is that if you want the to have um, like a workbench 3.2 you need to basically install 3.2 again but on a 3.1 kickstart so that the system um, installs the soft kick um, without because the Amiga Mini only has 3.1 kickstart ROMs so if you install if you are installed at home on your 3.2 runs off 3.2 kickstart ROMs then it won't work so you'd have to, you'd ju just something to be able, aware of really um, and I'll, that's it really
as you can see this is um, 3.2 workbench 3.2 um, so I'll just give you a quick demo of the setup working I'm trying to find Chaos Engineer, um, <laughs> and I'm looking for um, Chaos Engine under C, but for whatever reason, on my iGame setup, I've got it under as the Chaos Engine. <laughs> so bear with me here. There we go. Players activated. I haven't come across any problems yet on any of the games, um, and I've noticed that um, they run a lot better than they do on the Raspberry Pi. Um, like there's some games that have got glitches on the Raspberry Pi, um, but these glitches don't seem to happen on the Amiga Mini which is which is really good. It's also worth noting that both my uh, wireless joysticks work on the Amiga Mini as well as um, the uh, a wireless keyboard. So if um, if you don't like using the joypad um, on the Amiga Mini, you can always use um, joysticks. <laughs> 